Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's all about technology. Recently, I was facing certain lag issue in my OnePlus 7 phone. And I believe it was because of Android pushed their new version of software update. Recently, my phone got updated with the OS 11.0.8.1 software. If you want, you can also check in your system update section and after that i was like facing some issue related to lag phone used to hang and even my video used to run as if i'm using 2g connection you remember back then when we used to uh, have this edge or 2g connection video used to buffer so similar kind of issue i started facing after this system upgradation so in this video i am going to tell you how you can resolve and what all the steps you should be taking to get it resolved on its own so stay tuned and if you have not subscribed this channel yet then please do hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you do not miss any upcoming videos and also please do share comment and like this video so without any further ado let's start the video so let me bring my phone screen and you can see this is oneplus 7 so as i mentioned in the starting of this video that because of software update i started facing lag issue phone hang and other bugs in my phone so those issues i am going to resolve so first of all what you need to do you need to go in your phone settings so search for your phone settings and make sure that you do all these steps in the sequence only because probably the first step only can get your problems resolved so you can go in setting and check for ram enablement so you make sure that your ram boost is enabled and if there is any update pending then you can also get it updated for me it might be because i have got my software updated with recent version but for some people this could be the reason that they have not at all updated their android since a long time so do check your system and software update the second option what you need to do you need to just go into your play store click on your gmail id logo and then click on manage apps and devices there you need to find updates available option here you can see that what all application you have that you are still using and got updation pending in my case it was 11 updates pending so i actually clicked on update all it, it will take, take some, some time depending upon your network speed and also how many updates you have pending and make sure if there is any application which you are not going to use in future then uninstall those application while updations are going on please relax back and if you want to check the progress you can go and check that how many apps are still pending so as i said it will take some time for most of you i believe these three steps will resolve your problem the first one as i mentioned that ram enablement second was system update and the third this all application updates so in case this problem is still persisting then only move for the next and final steps because that is the step which is quite critical and that is the one actually solved my problem so before moving to those steps please do all these steps first finally my all apps are up to date now we will switch it off or restart this phone to check if everything is working fine i'm sure you know that you get this screen by clicking your volume and lock button simultaneously and then you need to click on restart this will again take some time because restarting will implement all the changes you have done in your phone recently so that is why it takes some time and after it gets on i believe your problem should be solved but in case it's not then in that case again click on your volume and key button simultaneously click on three dot above restart option and then select recovery there will be two option bootloader and recovery select recovery 
few seconds and post that one password screen will pop up so here you need to enter the password if you have already set if you have not then for the first time you will have to set and then it will start decrypting and then you will have the option to select the language once you have the language selected there will be three options wipe data and cache advanced and exit you need to click on wipe data and cache once you click on that you will again get three options reset system settings wipe cache and erase everything so if you have taken backup and if you want to erase everything you can go ahead and do that if you want to reset the application this will reset every setting of all the application in your phone you can do that as well but if you just want to go ahead and do what I did then you can go ahead and click on wipe cache click on that and select yes option this option will not delete your data in your phone but if you are selecting other two option make sure you are taking backup now you will get the option of reboot and done once the wiping has been completed so i would suggest to do the reboot option because this will again implement everything whatever you have done but if you want you can just go ahead and select the done also this done option will allow you to further explore the option under recovery mode so once you click on done option it will take you to the back screen where you had all the three options reset system wipe cache and erase everything so here like again if you want to explore further you just need to click on back and you will get the further options those are the same option which we have seen while doing the wipe cache so here again you will see this wipe data and cache advanced and exit so let's have a look what we have in advanced section under advanced setting you will get two options reboot to fast boot and reboot to recovery so reboot to fast boot generally we do when we have to install any custom files install any stock files or we have to unlock any bootloader or relock bootloader etc second option we have that is reboot to recovery so this mode is used to access different features of phone without accessing the phone's operating system. So the main function of this recovery mode is to fix the phone while staying away from the faulty operating system of the phone. So if you have any issue related to operating system that won't be fixed with this option but other phone related issue can be fixed third option i have over here that is version 2.0 so in some cases the number could be different like you could have different version but whatever version you have if you are clicking on this version this will actually include your app permission waves max audio swift keyboard off screen gesture custom icons dark mode manual camera mode or raw support for any third party application so if you have any issue related to these things then you can select this recovery option similarly whatever options you are selecting as per your phone issue all the options will reboot your phone however it is not going to delete any data so don't worry about it now let's go back to the previous screen by clicking on back option here you will find again those three options wipe cache advanced setting and exit so we need to click on exit and we'll see another two options like reboot and power off so reboot we have already seen that how it is working so in case you do not want to reboot and just power off your phone then you can select this power off option if you're clicking on no it will take you back to the previous screen so once your phone restart your all the problem will go away i'm sure in case still you face any kind of issue do comment and let me know and if you have any other way out to all these problems that is also something i would like to know so with this note i would take your leave and will hope to see you in my next video till then bye bye take care and be happy